Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars. And when last we left off, we found a use for the chalice. And now that we have the image that the chalice was meant to display, we're going to return it back to the Countess in Spain. George suddenly is getting a lot of uh, flyer miles here. Let's head over to the airport. And with the airport, we shall go over to uh, Spain itself. Let's go. Hello, we're back. I've been planning to return the chalice anyway, but I hadn't expected the trail to bring me here. The Villa de Vasconcelos was as picturesque as ever. The weather was still clear, and Lopez was still watering the damn lawn. I was beginning to suspect that he was surgically attached to that hose. Maybe. Hi there, Lopez. How's tricks? Senor Stobart, how pleasant to see you. You are well. Fine, thanks. Is the Countess in? She is waiting for you. I will show you up. It's okay, I know the way. Senor Stobart, I feel I owe you an apology. No, you don't. I was impolite on our first meeting. Look, Lopez, just forget about it. I came on like a snake oil merchant. I wouldn't have trusted me in your shoes. You do not understand. Finding the chalice has given my lady a new lease of life. It's a marvel. She smiles, she laughs. The tradesmen are saying that she is on Prozac. Well, let's go. We should probably just go and uh, hand the chalice back over. I wonder if there's more we can do here, though. In we go. He's removed the thing that's stopping us, fr stopping the uh, water, though, which is good. I wonder if we get to hold of it. Let's go upstairs. Senor Stobart, oh, what a pleasure. Please, sit down. Hi, Countess. The pleasure's all mine. I've brought back your chalice. Hello. Why? You've had it cleaned. Yeah. I met an obliging priest with a soft cloth. Have you resolved the Templar mystery? No, not yet. I don't even know what it is I'm after. There are many stories of the knights secreting great wealth away. Whatever. All I know is I don't want the bad guys to get it. Ah, uh, to be young and live in a world of moral absolutes. There are a few things we want to talk about. Firstly, the chalice. I discovered something amazing with that chalice. In Paris, I found a church where they recognized the coat of arms. I found the tomb of Don Carlos de Vasconcelos. You are sure? There can be no mistake? The coat of arms on the chalice matches the one on the tomb. Incredible. You have my most profound thanks. I must go there as soon as possible. Yeah? Well, I'd be happy to show you the city. Well, let's see what this other topic we have here. There's something else that I discovered carved on Don Carlos's tomb. Biblical references. What are the references, Senor Stobart? Psalms 32.7, Corinthians... I am not a good enough scholar to know the Bible, chapter and verse. I meant, what are the quotations? You know, I forgot to ask the priest. We're going to need to find a Bible then in that case. I'll have a look around if that's okay. My home is your home. I shall remain here. We need to find a Bible. It was a large window with shutters. Fair enough. There's another one, and this clock. An old grandfather clock stood against the wall. Anything we can do with it? I don't think so. I doubted the Templars had hidden anything in there. I'm pretty sure they haven't either. The fire was made up and ready, waiting for the year to turn cold. And let's not light it now. It was way too warm to light the fire. Indeed. Military hardware, medieval style. 
I came here to solve a mystery, not go jousting. But jousting is fun! There was a boar's head over the fire. It didn't look very happy. Must be hard to look happy when you're wearing a chimney breast. Now what the hell was I going to do with a hog's head? I don't know, what on earth were you going to do with grease paint? You found a use for that. We can't actually look at the chalice anymore. What about over here? There was a bookcase. Bureau kind of affair. Maybe there's a Bible here. I didn't recognize any of the titles, apart from an ancient edition of Don Quixote. Hmm. There was a book... Nothing there, then. We're going to need to find a Bible. Anything down here? We can go that way. And we can go this way now, I imagine. It was just a little utility room with no exit. Unless you counted the window. And I didn't. Why don't we go this way? We can now probably go this way without the dogs trying to get us. It's the one room we haven't yet gone to. Ah. We would go that way, except the dogs are there. We're probably going to need to find a way to deal with that. Then again, maybe there's something in the utility room I might want to get first. Hmm. Anything in there that we want at all? Oh, there's something we can take. It was a small mirror hanging over the sink. From the scum in the sink, it looked like he shaved there. Well, let's get it. Never know when we might need a mirror. The mirror from Lopez's utility room. Yep, I was still looking great. Ooh, I know where there's a Bible. There's a Bible in the mausoleum, isn't there? There is. There's one, um... Yeah, we could go get that one. I'm sure we'll put it back later. Off we go! Over to the mausoleum, which is over here. Hello, how are you doing? I'm just passing. I'm gonna try my best not to uh, ruin your uh, grass. There's a lot of nice grass. Door's still open. That's handy. Or rather, I think the door will just open if we wanted to. Or maybe we need him to open it for us. Well, it's worth a look. Will it open? I think it should. Ah, there we go. We want this. The chess pieces had been removed, and the Bible returned to its resting place. The candles had been lit. The Countess's way of saying thanks to her ancestors, I guess. Well, we need that Bible right now. We'll certainly return it. There we go, let's have a look at it. It was the Spanish Bible I borrowed from the mausoleum. Keyword there is borrowed. We will most certainly be returning that, I wager. Don't think the Countess will appreciate us taking that away. I wonder if the chess set has been... Uh, put back to its uh, rightful place that it was before, the match that uh, her and Lopez were playing. I wonder if we'll find that remaining chess piece. Since it was mentioned as something specifically important, I wager that we will. But probably not just yet. Not just yet. Right. Now that we have this Bible, we should be able to... Um, Ask the Countess more about those biblical references. I'd almost forgotten about the Bible verses, you know. I'd almost forgot. I wondered why else we'd be here. But he said, I have other reasons to be here. And that prompted my memory. That prompted my memory. Right. Upstairs we go. Interesting that that stops when you get to about here, as opposed to just going all the way up. I should have a look at this. Oh, we can't have a look at this anymore. Let's talk to her again. Hello! We're back. We not gone long. Hello again. Mind if I sit? Please. Be my guest. Okay. We have this now. Here's the Bible from the mausoleum. A 
Very well. Let us begin. The first reference. Psalms 32, 7. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. My hiding place. Don't get your hopes up too high. This might just be leading us to where we found the chalice. You are right, of course. The next. Okay. John 4, 11. John 4, 11. Here. The well is deep. The next. Uh, quickly. Okay, okay. Uh, Corinthians 4, 5. Here it is. We'll bring to light the hidden things. Any more? Just one. Psalms again. 22, 21. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorn. The last is confusing. Lions, unicorns, what's it mean? I can't guess. Salient points seem to be a hiding place and a deep well. In no sense is there mausoleum a well, Senor Stobart. Is there a well in the grounds? I do not know. I suppose that there must have been once upon a time. Lopez is the man to ask about anything pertaining to the estate. Well, let's go talk to him. Does this mean anything to you? Nothing at all. Fair enough. I'll just have another look around. Very well. And now we shall go. Let's see if Lopez can help us with anything. Okay, there we go. Hello, Lopez. I have a question concerning wells, and you will be well um, equipped for answering it. <laughs> yes, I. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be impressed with that pun either. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? I want to talk about the chalice first. What's the story behind the chalice vanishing? When the Inquisition raided, in the absence of Don Carlos, it was believed that they had taken it. Naturally, they denied the charge as they denied taking the children. And naturally, Nobody believed them. But they were telling the truth. The chalice was hidden from them. You don't suppose they were telling the truth about the children as well, do you? Madre de Dios! I had not thought of that. But then what happened to them? I don't know. If the Inquisition didn't take them, then who did? You must speak to my lady of these. Count on it. Hmm, interesting. So the Countess feels that the curse is lifted. I would not put it so strongly. Your discovery of the chalice was proof that the Templars never abandoned the De Vasconcelos. It counts for a great deal with my lady. And finally, Wells. You must know just about everything that there is to know about this place. See, I have lived my whole life here in the service of the De Vasconcelos. Do you know of a well anywhere around here? A well? Si, senor. This used to be a fortified villa. How can you last a siege without water? Great! So where is it? How should I know? The well was covered over in the last century. It was dangerous, you see. And you have no idea where it was? None. It was hidden even before my grandfather's time. Well, that doesn't help. Well, you must have a vague idea of where the well is. It must have been in the old house's courtyard. So that would put it around here. Here? Okay. Now, how do we find it? There might be a way. Let me think about it. Okay, fair enough. Any ideas yet? Not as yet, Senor Stobart. I shall give it more thought. Okay. Catch you later, Lopez. Adios, Senor Stobart. He seems much nicer now that we've uh, cheered up the Countess. I think we should actually go over and talk about the um, children there, because maybe maybe they were telling the truth, although I'm not quite sure she's going to believe that. But we do need to find a... Um, definitely need to find the well. If it's even here. It probably is. 
Hello! Don't mind me. I'm just gonna have a conversation. Hello again. Mind if I sit? Please, be my guest. Hello! There is a conversation here. There's still the mystery of that missing chess piece. I do not think that it will ever be discovered unless the fate of the children is revealed. The Inquisition were suspected of taking the chalice and the kids, right? We know now they were innocent of the first crime. What if... They did not take the children either. Then what happened to them? The Inquisition admitted to killing Don Carlos's manservant. Now, this guy had been told to protect the kids at all costs, right? That is correct. I think he hid them and the chalice when he got wind that the Inquisition was coming. With him dead and Don Carlos driven mad with grief, there was nobody left who knew the secret. You know what this means, don't you? I fear so. The children are still here somewhere. If this is so, then it is small wonder that the Devasconcellas are cursed. We're going to need to solve that. I'll have a look around, if that's okay. My home is your home. I shall remain here. Fair enough. We're going to need to have a look around and see what we can find. We're definitely going to need to see what we can find. There's nothing in here that we can uh, take or do or anything like that. I imagine the only place that we can start looking for things is the, um, the mausoleum. Hmm. Let's have a look. Do 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 do. Walking over the grass, ahead into the mausoleum, looking for a well. George's song of treasure hunting. Do ba do do do. And there we go. There's this area here, by this statue, but I don't think it's going to be there. It could very well be there, but there's nothing to actually, uh... The Devasconcellos Mausoleum, where five Templars lie. Well, let's go in, shall we? I'm sure there's a few things we could do in here. Well, there aren't many things I think we could do in here. Hmm. What could we do? We could try and light this, but we're not going to be able to reach it. I couldn't reach up there. Hmm. Hanging from the ceiling was a huge yellowed candle. It looked really old and had never been lit. Well, let's see if we can light it. We could use this. On that? No? On this? Well, that's handy. We've managed to uh, close that window. If we are going to light that candle, we're not going to want the um, the wind to blow it out. Is this a use for our grease paint? Are we going to use the grease paint on here so we can light the candle? The grease paint proves to be ever useful. Oh no, it's gone from my inventory! This is terrible! We need it in our Im Is this the end of the grease paint tissue? It is, isn't it? No? Oh no, we've got it back, but I do really think we need to be using that to light that candle. Not that I know what lighting that candle is really going to achieve, but hey. No, that was a silly idea. I decided to think things through. Hmm. To think things through. Are we doing something wrong here. Huh. Maybe we need to use the grease paint on the candle. Yes? No? Hmm. No need to think about this. Basically, what I need to do is uh, think about what order I need to put to do things. Like, do I want to put use this candle or that candle or, hmm.
Oh, there we go, it's lit now. Hadn't even noticed that. There we go. And there goes the candle. The candle had burnt brilliantly, but only for a couple of minutes, some kind of special formulation, I guess, and had yielded up this, a complex shape expertly cut in stone. I figured it was some kind of key. Well, we have a key, and there is no candle here anymore. The candle had burnt brilliantly, but briefly. There wasn't a lot left. I hadn't even noticed that the uh, grease paint... The grease paint is... Ooh! The item has changed! The tissue was pretty charred, but the grease paint had done most of the burning. Now we have... a charred tissue. Ah, the item is no longer what it once was. But now I can show it to everybody else again, because it's different looking. I'm sure most people aren't even going to care about it. But hey, when we come back, folks... I hadn't noticed that the uh, the tissue was actually burning, but now we have this item here. It was a smooth, intricately carved piece of stone that had been concealed inside the great candle. Lost one candle, gained a key. Maybe it's a key, who knows. So, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Poor grease paint tissue. We shall forever remember what you did, and basically how you've saved our lives on more than one occasion. I inadvertently. Not directly, mind you, but indirectly. Later.